solve the equation for x. And uh, they're giving us some steps here. Step 1, step 2, step 3, and step 4. And they want to know which one of these four steps is wrong. Okay? Uh, what's the first time they went wrong? All right? Step 1, step 2, step 3, step 4. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to start uh, solving the equation. And then we're going to find the step where they blew it. All right? Now, you're going to distribute 2 times x. 2 onto the x, 2 times 6 is 12, bring down the other two numbers. So step 1 is correct, isn't it? Now step 2, I get rid of the smaller of the 2x or the 4x, okay? All right, the smaller of the two of them is 2x, so I'm going to get rid of 2x. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides of the equation here. When you subtract, 2x goes away, we end up with 12. That equals 2x plus 72. Now, see how we got 2x here? Now, I may have 12 and 72, but see how I get 2x? 2x is right. 6x is wrong. What they did, they added 2x and 4x and got 6x, but they shouldn't have added them because there's an equal sign between those. So what, I'm, what I do is get rid of the 2x right here and end up with 4x minus 2x. They added 4x plus 2x. So step two is definitely wrong and the other steps are going to be wrong too. But the first time you're wrong is right here when they add 2x and 4x and get 6x. Now just for the fun of it, I go ahead and solve this thing. The next thing we're going to do is get rid of the 72. Okay. So how do you know it's 72? Well, you want to get rid of numbers that are next to the x, right? Now of the 12, the 2 and the 72, which one of those three is right next to the x? Well, the 2 is. So you'd say in your mind, well, I'm going to get rid of the 2. The problem with that is 2 is the coefficient of x, okay? You can only get rid of that 2 when you have two terms. I'll show you when to get rid of the 2 in a minute here. So now, besides the 2, what other number is next to the x? the 72, right? It's right next to it, and it's not separated by an equal sign. That's like a great divider, isn't it, huh? Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the 72 next. Subtract 72. We have $12, and we spend 72. We are $60 overdrawn. We spent more money than we had. Okay, bring down the equals and the 2x, okay? The 72 went away. Now, how many terms do I have now? One term, two terms. When you have two terms, that's when you get rid of the coefficient of the variable. That's why we couldn't get rid of the two back here, because I had one, two, three terms. You have to come down on, you have to solve this equation and get two terms, one, two, and then you can get rid of the coefficient, okay? So we're going to divide both sides of the equation by two, divide negative 60 by two, divide two by two. So you end up with negative 30 is x, okay? And that solves it. The first place we, saw, we had a mistake in this problem, when you added 2x and 4x and got 6x, there's not an addition sign between those two. Well, there is right here, but that's plus 12. But the, you can't uh, add across an equal sign, okay? So there's your mistake, the first one that was made in the problem, step two.